In this video, we're going to go over how to graph a point slope form of the equation of a line. We're going to do two problems for it, so let's dive into the first one, and then in the second half of the video, we'll do one more example. We're told to graph y minus 1 equals negative 4 times x plus 3. So how in the wide world of math do we graph that? Well, we break it down based on the information that we're given, and we graph that information. So we should remember that slope-intercept form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1, y1 is the point that we have fixed on the line, and m is the slope of how we move on that line. So actually what we're given is exactly how we're going to move and graph. So we're told that we have this equation here. Well, we're given then the x and the y value of a point on this line. If it's x plus 3, then that must mean that we did x minus a negative 3. Right? If you think about it, how do we get a plus 3 from x minus? x minus a negative 3 gives us x plus 3. Another way that it's taught is think about what number zeroes this out. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. It's a distance of 0 from negative 3. So that's one way of thinking about it as well y minus 1, well, so y minus y1, y1 must be 1. So this is the point that's on the curve. Now we also have the slope, which is sticking right out for us right there, m equals negative 4. Now it's as simple as just saying, well, I've got a point, and I've got a slope. The point tells me a location of where I am on a line, and the slope tells me how to move on that line. So the point is negative 3, 1, over 1, 2, 3, up 1, so that's my first point right there. And now my slope tells me how to move off of that point. Negative 4, remember, is the same as negative 4 over 1, which tells us to rise down 4 and run 1. So I'll go down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. Beautiful. Down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And one more for good measure in the opposite direction. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1. Beautiful. OK, so we've got those points. Try your best to connect that line. I'm not the best at it, as you can see. And that is how you graph a point slope form line. It's not so bad. On the flip side of this video, I'm going to do one more example just to make sure you've got it locked away. See you on that other side. And here we are on the other side of the video, as promised, about to do a second example for how to graph a point slope form of the equation of a line. So we're given the equation y minus 3 equals 2 fifths times the quantity x plus 5. As we did in the first half of the video, I like to identify the information we have based on understanding the main template for a point slope form. And that main template, again, is y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. So now from here, what I do is I take an inventory of what I have. My slope, not so bad, is 2 fifths. So we're going to rise 2 and run 5. Sweet. My point, well, let's check it out. I've got y minus 3, so that's going to be a y value of 3 minus y1. And then x plus 5, so x minus a negative 5 would give us x plus 5, so it's negative 5. And so now we have a point and a slope. Let's graph it. Negative 5, 3 is a location on the line, so that's over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3. And now the slope will basically direct us as to how to find other points on the line. We're going to rise 2 and run 5. So that'll be rise 1, 2, run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam! Rise 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Beautiful! We'll do one more in the other direction. Rise 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now do your best, whoo, connecting that line. Oh, that wasn't so bad. And we've got a nice line there. I'm, I'm patting myself on the back because I can't draw straight lines freehand to save my life. So that's not too bad right there. Anyway, graphing point slope form is easy as inventorying the information you have, writing it out, and then doing what that information tells you to do on the graph. See you in the next video, peeps.